In my mushroom macro photography, the focus lays in creating my images in camera. By using the correct camera techniques, most work will be done in the field while shooting. But this doesn't mean that they don't need any post-processing. While the majority of the work takes place during the actual shoot, these images still benefit from slight adjustments. Nearly all of them need minor tweaks like contrast and color corrections, while others might require a little bit more attention, like darkening or lightening certain areas or accentuating certain details. While in the past I performed most of my post-processing in Photoshop, I'm now using Lightroom more and more. Since its possibilities to do local adjustments have improved significantly. And I still use Photoshop as it gives me more freedom. But for this example here, I'm going to use Lightroom. Okay, let's dive into it. This is the little mushroom that we're going to edit. I use the leaves in front to create a blurry foreground. And at the back, you have some out of focus grasses and some distant trees that are also out of focus. The curve of the oak leaf and the various triangles within the frame result in a beautiful composition. The image is shot at an aperture of f3.5. And the whole mushroom cap is in focus, asking all attention. Now, when we have a look at the histogram, we see that it has a good exposure, but there's still some room for improvement. So I start by raising the whites. When tweaking the contrast, I always click on J first. Now all overexposed and underexposed areas will be shown. The overexposed areas will be red, while the underexposed areas will become blue. So I set the contrast, but I try to avoid under or overexposure. The red area you see here is overexposed, so I tone down the whites just a little bit. I lower the highlights a little bit and I open up the shadows. The blacks I also lower just a little bit. And, and I raise the texture and the clarity just a little bit. Now, in my opinion, this is the bare minimum post-processing that this image needs. Setting basic contrast. But I like to take it a little further. I'm going to do some local adjustments. So I select the radial gradient tool over here. This area here up front is far too bright and draws all attention. So I lower the highlights and the whites for this area. I create a radial gradient with the feathering about halfway and covering the whole area. Now I'm going to darken it. By darkening it like this, we can create some more depth in the image. Now we have a darker area here up front, while the light at the back draws our eye into the scene. It's already a big improvement. Then I want some more attention on the mushroom itself. You could try to use another radial filter, but here I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to create a filter for the subject itself. I'm going to create a filter for the mushroom. I click here on select subject and Lightroom now selects the mushroom, but also part of the leaves in front of it. Now, I want the mushroom to stand out a little bit, so I let it pop by lowering the blacks. I like what it does to the mushroom, but not to the leaf, so I'm going to adjust the selection. With the mask active, I click on the minus here, and I select the brush tool. With it, I paint over the area that I don't want to include in the selection. So, I set the contrast of the mushroom by lowering the blacks, the shadows and the highlights.
and I add some detail by rising the texture and the clarity, just a little bit, not too much. Some fine tuning, okay, that looks better. I'm going to bring some extra light into the image. I select the radial filter again and I set it in the right upper corner. The feathering I set real high and I raise the exposure just a bit. As you can see, it also affects the mushroom. Some parts are now overexposed, so I need to adjust the selection. I click on the minus here and I subtract the subject. I subtract the mushroom from being affected by this radial filter. Okay, close down the filters. I lower the overall blacks a little bit more. And I go to the color grading. Here I'm going to play a little bit with the luminosity. I lower the luminosity of the shadows and of the midtones. Just like this, not too much. And for the highlights, I raise it a little bit. By doing this, the image gets some more extra contrast. Now I would like to create some extra vignetting. I could do it for the whole image, but these areas over here at the bottom and here at the upper left corner will then get too dark, so I do it differently. I'm going to create some extra radial gradients. Quite big, and with the feathering real high. I place it here at the edge, where I want to darken it. Now I lower the exposure to darken this edge a little bit. And I create another radial filter for the opposite side here. And I lower the exposure. That's better. Then I add another small radial filter over here. This bright area here draws far too much attention, so I darken it to blend it into the surroundings. That's better. The greens over here are too flashy, so I go to the colors and I lower the saturation of the greens. The image looks already a whole lot better, and I'm already quite pleased with the result. And I could stop here, but let's take it just a little further. I'm going to do some color grading. Now, this is a difficult part for me, as I'm partly colorblind. As I'm partly colorblind, I'm daltonic. I have some troubles with these colors. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to cool down the shadows and the highlights, just a bit. And then I'm going to warm the midtones a little, not too much. Like this, I like it. I set it to my taste. Yours might be different, and that's okay. I lower the greens a bit more. Have a look at the texture, the clarity and the dehaze. Just some small adjustments, not more. Tweak it a little bit, like this. Now, let's have a look at the before and after. I really, really like the result. Maybe another radial filter over here. To brighten the area behind the mushroom. As you can see, it also affects the mushroom itself. So I adjust the selection by subtracting the subject, like this. Now the mushroom isn't affected. Only the area behind it 
has become a little bit brighter. That's what we want. Here you can see the effect of all the local adjustments that I did. It's a big difference, but also a big improvement. Maybe I should reduce the saturation of the greens and the yellows a bit more. Okay, that's it. The image is finished for me. I really, really like the result. If we now compare the before and after, we see a big difference. There's more contrast in the image and the mushroom stands out more. By darkening this area here up front and at the same time brightening the area here at the back, the image has gained a lot more depth. Now your eye is really drawn into the image and all attention goes to the mushroom. In the unedited version, too much attention was going to the bright area over here. Also the subtle vignetting that I added here and here, together with the dark area at the bottom and over here, really help to contain the eye of the viewer within the scene and leads the viewer's eye straight to the mushroom. All these small adjustments that I did add up to a wonderful end result and helped to lift the image to a higher level. If you want to learn the in-camera techniques to create this kind of soft focus images, then click the link below. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. With your support, I can create more of these videos. Learn to look at the world through different eyes. I wish you a lot of fun creating wonderful pictures. 